Hello friends, happy Halloween. It's me, Miley. Today, we are doing all things party and Halloween prep. It is Halloween tonight. Eric and I have the most fun costumes we may have ever done. The most involved costumes for sure. And we have a whole Halloween party to get ready for. So come along with us. I'm gonna take you along for everything. If you're new here, we do lots of fun things on this channel, like vlogs of our daily life and travel, book content, theater content, shopping videos, grocery hauls, DIY home things, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm hyped a little bit. So if any of that sounds good to you, definitely hit that red subscribe button. What are you waiting on? Let me tell you the down low for tonight. So Eric and I do a Halloween party every single year and we always pick kind of a crazy theme. This year's theme is saints versus sinners. So you have to come dressed as a saint, a sinner, a combo, something to fit the theme. And Eric and I, <laughs> are dressing up as Tammy Faye and Jim Baker. And I am beyond excited for it. So there is so much happening, wig wise, makeup wise, costume wise, a lot going on. And we're gonna take you along as we get ready for Halloween, but also do a lot of party prep because we are, we're ordering pizza. So that's gonna be like the main food. But then I'm also making, of course, jello shots because it's not a Miley and Eric party without jello shots. But I'm doing Canada cookies. Um, we're doing like fruit skewers, like popcorn fluff, little smokies. No, 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 not little smokies, pigs in a blanket. I don't, I don't really know. We're doing a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna take you along with me as we party prep and get ready. We've got just under three hours. It's five o'clock right now. The party starts at eight. And here's the real kicker. <laughs> I am hopping on a flight tomorrow morning at eight. Eight, eight or 8.50. Oh, I hope it's 8.50. I think it's 8.50 to go to San Francisco for a work event that I'm working all weekend long. So I'm gonna be freaking exhausted. So actually the first thing we're gonna do in this is first of all, unpack because I still, which is so unlike me, normally when I get home from trips, I am the first thing I'm doing when I walk through the door is unpacking everything, putting it away. I had my cousin Harper's bachelorette party this past weekend, okay? And it's Thursday and I still have not unpacked. So I need to unpack and then repack for the freaking gala my life has been a whirlwind. My schedule has been all over the place, crazy, crazy busy. I'm just like waiting for next weekend. I cannot wait. Honestly, I'm waiting to get through this weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. I'm excited to just go hang out with everybody, but it will be an exhausting weekend. So I am excited for the travel and like all the crazy of the, it's probably gonna be a long 15 hour day for the gala to commence. But I'm gonna be so happy when it's over and I come back home because the next weekend, I don't really have many plans. So that's very happy. All that to say, let's unpack first and then repack for the gala so I don't have to worry about that tonight. I'm gonna try to go to bed by 11, but we know that's probably a pipe dream since there will be people at my house till probably two or three in the morning as there always is. Although it is a Thursday party and not a weekend party because we're doing it on actual true Halloween. Like I said, because my schedule is too busy, there was no time. So let's do it. I'm gonna put you on fast mode. Unpack from the bachelorette weekend, pack for the gala weekend. Here we go. Have a Halloween party in between. Oh, hello. It's voiceover Miley here. And I'm unpacking from my cousin Harper's bachelorette weekend. It was epic. Like, it was so fun. I have not laughed that much in a really long time. We seriously had a blast. It was such a great group of girls. And the maid of honor who planned it literally should start her own bachelorette party planning business. It was just like perfectly scheduled. I had a freaking blast. So it was so fun. I was reminiscing and looking through like all the gifts and stuff we got. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Okay, I'm back in the kitchen and we've checked some things off the list. Oh, well, let me show you. I have laid out all of our costume elements. I can't wait to show you guys. We kind of match and it's awesome. Look at all this gaudy jewelry I got. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. I have a huge chunky belt, a wig. I cannot wait. So I laid all this out, it's all ready for us. So now we're just making the last of the few things we need to make. I've got the living room all tidy. Well, I didn't do it, Eric did it. But um, let me show you what he's working on, it's super cute. Fruit skewers, baby. Say hi to the vlog, Scrimpy. Hi to the vlog, Scrimpy. He's doing some plain, some drizzled in caramel, some drizzled in chocolate. So that'll be really yummy. 
and I'm about to get started on Canada cookies, which they're called, I'm sure I've told the vlog before, they're called Canada cookies because my mom made a batch for them on one of my dad and brother's annual trips to Canada to go fishing in the summer when my brother was a kid. I don't know what they're actually called. They're like butterscotch, oatmeal, chocolate chip cookies. They're very freaking good and they're orange. So I figured Halloween, let's make them. So I'm gonna put you on fast mode while Eric finishes up the skewers and I work on Canada cookies. I think it's so funny watching Eric and I work side by side on stuff because he has ADHD. I have OCD. So our brains do not operate on the same playing field whatsoever. You can see me like wash my hands 25,000 times as I'm making things like wiping out all the bowls that I am grabbing before I use them. Um, he's just like bebopping all over the kitchen, just going from like middle of a task to middle of another task. He's got his headphones in. He wants to like focus and not talk. And it's just so funny how the two of us are so different. All right, Canada cookies look beautiful. Love them so much. Eric's working on a little, nope. Um, pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. I always call them little smokies, but they're pigs in a blanket. Now I'm gonna start on the white chocolate popcorn. Reese's Pieces conglomeration. Okay, this stuff is actually super easy to make. I'd never made it before. I mean, I'd eaten it many times before, but never made it. So literally all you do is just get puff corn and white chocolate. I just melted the white chocolate in the microwave. You pour it over the puff corn, kind of stir it around and dump it out on a parchment sheet. And I put Reese's Pieces like drizzled in there too. And then you just let it sit for like five to 10 minutes, put it back in the bowl. It's good to go. It's very delish. All right, puff corn done. If you've never tried this stuff with Reese's Pieces, then you freaking need to. It is so yumalicious. Oh my gosh, so good. So I think the only thing left to do is put those piggies in the oven. So I think let's go transition to getting costumes ready. Okay, first thing is a wig. And of course I always have a wig cap. I think there's two in this actually. So I'm going to spray my wispies down right here and then stretch this guy on my head. Make sure all my little baby hairs are tucked in the back and then tuck them here as much as I can. That's pretty good. Put a couple of bobby pins through. Hook them on my braids. That's why I braid my hair instead of doing pin curls. Well, A, because my hair is so long. Doing pin curls is so freaking long. It would take forever. Um, but also because Braids are just easier for the bobby pins and the wig to have something to attach to. You know what I mean? Um, okay, I'm gonna call that good enough. This wig is so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love a wig. I love a wig so much. This is perfect. Wow, this is a little crazy actually. All right. And the beauty of it is it's not a show. It's just Halloween. So it does not have to be perfect. This is hilarious. I'm gonna put some through zip top. Well, maybe, good Lord. It's a thick wig top. Jeez, I don't think that's gonna go through. And it's got like wispies in the back, so. Oh, this is freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. Oh, there we go. There's something to shove it through. So far, this has only taken me three minutes. We just want it as big and crazy as possible. Honestly, that feels pretty secure. Let's do makeup. I'm making it as crazy as possible. And in fact, I'm gonna do it so crazy, wouldn't it be fun to do a jump scare? So let's say makeup in three, two, one.
Ta-da! This is sans eyelashes. I haven't put my eyelashes on yet, but ah! I feel crazy. I'm very orange. Now I've got Scrimpy here, and I'm going to put you on fast mode to do his hair, which is hilarious. Okay, so to do Eric's hair, I literally just took a bunch of pomade and slathered it through his hair, pulled it to a loose pony in the back, and braided it, flipped it under, and pinned it to make it look short. And then I took some loose powder and just brushed that kind of all through. <laughs> the mixture of pomade and hairspray held it in place nicely and gave it that gray, older effect really nicely. So it worked. It was pretty fun to do it too. I like experimenting. Oh my gosh. Okay, so all I did was just like tucked his hair under back here to make it look like it's short hair. It looked like an old man. That is hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> okay, time for my eyelashes. All right, eyelashes are on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I have spiders on my eyes. Like that's how it feels. This costume is insane. It's insane. Hey, time to get dressed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. It's just too good. Okay, let me show you Eric. Would you believe it if he had all of this 80s garb in his closet? Turn so they can see your uh, <laughs> silver fox hair. So funny. Okay, now we're gonna take some pics before people get here and I'll show you all the food setup and stuff. This is hilarious. Okay, so do we love our costumes? Yes, they look great. Eric's from his closet. Mine is a combination of Goodwill and Amazon. I love it. Your Jesus pin. My favorite part is my Jesus pin. So good. Final look clip. Bye. And jello shots, of course. The wig is officially coming off. Oh my god. I look insane. Now the eyelashes are coming off. You guys, Tammy Faye at the end of the night looks crazy. Look, look at. Ugh. 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 That's all I have to say. <laughs> I feel the ugliest I've ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> How does she wear this kind of makeup all the time? Ay, 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 something's not right there. But anyway, I am taking my makeup off. Oh my gosh, look at my lips, my overlined lips. Ridiculous, I can't even look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I'm taking all my stuff off. I am gonna take a shower and wash my gross hair, get all this gunk off of me and uh, pack the rest of what I need to pack. People are still out there having a grand old time. It's funny, when you have a party on a Thursday, it is not a rager like all of our other parties typically are. So I wonder how long they'll go for. Um, but it's a, it's a fun small group out there just kind of chilling and vibing. Um, so I was having a grand old time, but I need to be responsible and go to bed and get ready to leave early in the morning. So thank you guys so much for watching this Halloween prep and pack and all kinds of crazy costumes video. It was kind of all over the place, but hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.